her treat is in my pocket. She's trying to get to it. It's really JJ. Oh, geez. She's about to get it. Oh, no. All right, fine. We'll go in the bedroom. She's like, get up. What? What? What's your deal? You want your little treat? Is that the deal? You want your little treat? <laughs> All right, fine. Good morning. It's Monday. Today, Russ has off work because why? It's a federal holiday. It is in Indigenous Peoples Day, formerly known as Columbus Day. But since we don't celebrate mass murderers over here, uh, we have changed the name to Indigenous Peoples Day. People may still say, oh, it's Columbus Day or whatever. You can. I suppose it's fine. It's been Columbus Day for a very, very long time. But now it's Indigenous Peoples Day. So that's what I choose to call it. I'm baking biscuits is what I'm doing here. Just preheat the oven. Do I have time for this? It's just me anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> you know what us humans have well you know animals probably do too I don't know but we have this need most of us to put things away just away and when we say away it means out of sight you know and if you're an organized person, you would put it in a designated area. So, um, yeah, a designated area is what you would, you would put in a designated area. Biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. I'm trying to decide, do I want to put cinnamon sugar on these? Maybe I could just put on a few. Because there's eight of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's eight of them. Biscuits, 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 biscuits. I'll make it biscuits. What's so, up? Good afternoon. How you doing? It's Monday. You know how Mondays be. For office jobs. I don't think I need to. I think I'm in a finger comb. Feels pretty. Uh, what do you call. Not tangled. Detangled. I mean it's snarly a little bit. But not too much. See that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yesterday I had. Well, it was wash day yesterday. I used. Uh, Aunt Jackie's. Curlala. I believe that's what I use. Oh, I might have used the other stuff, the Maui moisture. I can't remember. I thought I used the Aunt Jackie's. Pretty sure I used the Aunt Jackie's. Either way, back here might be a little bit more snarl. We'll get it a little bit more wet. Always back there. I always have issues. Today, has been, you know, as a UC, I've been on the phone more than I have been for Escalation Team. So what's that about? Hmm. Hmm. You tell me that. 
So I'm still waiting to hear back from the for the job. I hope I get it. I really do. I really I haven't wanted something so bad in my life in like forever pretty much. I don't even know the last time I wanted something so bad. I do. I want it so bad and I will be so devastated if they go with somebody else. Seriously. I will be ugh, I'll be heartbroken. It's only been a week. It's been less than a week. I did my my final interview bit on the was it Tuesday last week? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Tuesday. So, you know, my nephew, Mackay, he could totally do this. If he just uses the product in his hair um, daily, you know, just get it wet and then use the product to detangle. You just have to, you know, use your fingers like a comb. It's not difficult. Your hair, his hair is not as uh, curly as mine, so the tangles should be less. They would be less if he did his hair every day. Now that he has a brush, I gave him that brush, he should be good, you know? Should be all good in the hood. So my niece posted uh, or shared a little meme or something. It said, adulthood is the most ghetto hood I've ever been in. It's so true. Adulthood is ghetto. It's lame. It's stupid. Is that what ghetto means nowadays? Lame and stupid? I don't even know. But adulthood when you have... I should say adulthood when you have a lot of responsibilities. And most adults have a lot of responsibilities. You know, unless you're like rich and have people to do stuff for you then I would say pretty much every adult has responsibilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I watched yesterday, I watched something on Netflix. Uh, what's it called? J Julie and the, and the Phantoms or something. And... It is a teenage movie, teenage years, you know, if you're a teenager and you want to watch that show, Netflix show, it's uh, it's definitely for teenagers. Let's say you like high school musical, you'd probably like this show. I did not like high school musical, but I did find this show pretty amusing. It's basically high school musical except with ghosts or whatever. So the concept is this band, this boy band or whatever, they went to go play at this place, but they ate they they died. Three of them died. So um what had happened was they end up coming back when this like 25 years later they end up coming back. And uh, with this girl who can see them, this living girl can see them, but nobody else can see them unless they're playing music. Then they can then they can be seen. So it's a odd concept. It's kind of it's a different concept for sure, but it's definitely very High School Musical. And it is that way because well, hey, it's the same person who did High School Musical. It's the same people. Same director or whatever. So, yeah, um, that's a thing. All right, I gotta get some more product in the back here. Oh, I'm on till, till right now, actually. When I get back from lunch, I don't have to get back on the phone until five. So it's two o'clock. Right now it's to 12. Two, oh, eight, maybe, I don't know. This clock is fast, so something like that. Um, cat is coughing. Cat coughs. Very wheezy cough. 
She's coughing. And I know when she's about to puke because her tongue will be sticking out. This is just coughs. All right, kitty. Do you need a pat on the back? Oh, okay. You're good. All right, let's go to the kitchen and make a chicken. Russ has gone fishing. Today, being Indig Indigenous People's Day, he has off, as I mentioned earlier today. Um, so he decided to go fishing. Oh, look, the sun's coming out. So that's good for him. Uh, it's been a really cold, dreary morning slash early afternoon. So, uh, hopefully it won't be so grody or whatever this whole afternoon. Because it would be nice to not be freaking clouds and rain and blah 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 for the remainder of the week you know what i mean now i mean Vern. that's from uh i don't know if you're old enough to know where you know what i mean Vern comes from you might maybe your parents showed you the earnest movies now i gotta do the dishes so i'm gonna put this chicken in here we'll season it up a little bit Put some marinara on it or something. Let me see. I'll figure it out. Talk to you later. I made chicken. Just the one. I'll season it with some. Uh, oh, hot. Yep, that's cool. Sizzling, sizzling. That brownness. That ch chunky brownness there is some onion, chopped onion, and seasoned with um, some Creole seasoning. What's it? Tony's something or other? Yeah, Tony's. This. Here. I don't know how to say that. Chaterers, cater, caterers, che, chaterers, chaterers, ah, ah, whatever. Tony's seasoning. I think it's the same people that make that. Um. Oh no, that's taco seasoning. Uh, where is it? Makes the, um, is it Tony's? No. The Greek seasoning. I was thinking it was Tony's. It's not Tony's. That's, a. Uh, what is Tony's? What is this? Is it? It's not. It's, a uh, Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. Cavender's not the same as Tony's. Right? It's just not the same. Different company. Okay, now I'm gonna go back, sit in. I think I've got like maybe five minutes left or something. So, but I don't have to be on the phone. So that's good. I don't have to be on the phone again till five. Um, so hooray. All right. Bye. Do you see this girl? Do you see her? She's begging to me. Because she thinks she hasn't eaten. She has literally just finished her food. You just finished it. It's like she ate the food and then she forgot that she ate the food. Yeah, I don't even know. Okay, so exciting news. Um, the tr people who... Who are doing the hiring what do they call them i don't know um train hiring coordinators or something anyway they want to meet me tomorrow on via skype or whatever video 
and talk to me about the training physician. I'm hoping that means they want to talk to me about having the training position because I want it so bad and I will be devastated. I'll be so upset if they don't, if they don't give it to me. They've got to give it to me. Please give it to me. Give it to me, please. Let's put it out there when I get it, when I get the position. Putting it out in the universe. When I get the position, I want it so bad. I just, I just need to have it. I just need this position. I need to be an operational training specialist. That would be my official title, operational training specialist. And I hope they do it for TRICARE. There's two positions open, one for Medicare, one for TRICARE. And I'm hoping that I get for TRICARE because been with TRICARE for 16 years and um, it would be I could do it but it would take me a while to learn the new operations of like Medicare or whatever you know and I don't really want to go through all that policy and stuff but if they do the training for oh my god if they do the training for um TRICARE I just, I just need to, I just need to be it. I just need to be that person. I need to do it. I need to do it. I need to do it. So fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed. Out in the universe, good vibes, all that jazz. I need it. Bring it to me. Give it to me. Tomorrow afternoon, I will know. Hi, how's it going? I am hungry, but I am not so hungry that I need to make myself some chicken or pasta and some meal thing. And I don't want to just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It doesn't fill me up. So what I'm going to get, use, make, whatever, is oatmeal. I'm just going to make some oatmeal. We have butter, which is great. I don't think I bought milk, but I might have. I don't measure. I don't need to measure my oats. Thank you very much. A little bit of oats. Oats. Okay, so when I was in daycare, back in my youth, obviously, I'm not in daycare now. Um... So when I was in daycare, there was a man who worked there and I mean, obviously he worked there. He wasn't just like some random dude who that would be really creepy and weird. Anyway, his name was Joe, I think. I don't remember. Joe, Joseph, something. I can't remember, but he sang songs to us kids. I think he made them up. I'm not really sure, but regardless, um, he would sing songs. And one of the songs was to help us learn the vowels, the A-E-I-O-U, the vowels, you know, so, and it was about eating apples and bananas. So the main part of the song, it would start out, I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. So it would, that was the whole melody, it was just that. But then it'd be A E I O U. So I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. That kind of, it was a silly song. So it'd go through the A and the E and I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I, 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 apples and bananas. O, 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 opals and bananas. And ooh, 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 oopals and bananas. 
and it made you laugh because you're a kid and things like that make you laugh because it sounds silly. Ooples and Banoonoos, what is that? That's just silly silliness, this silly song. So I remember that song. So anytime I hear oats or something, the word oats or has oats in it, I think of opals and bonobos. That's what I think of. Those types of kids songs that help you learn the vowels or whatever you're learning. I like them. I like them, okay? Making oatmeal, making oatmeal. Hey, 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 hey. I, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Good evening. Hi. Hey, how's it going? What's up? So I've made my oatmeal. And I didn't doctor it up real fancy like with the nutmeg. The nutmeg and the sugar or whatever. I find that oatmeal is just best when you keep it simple. Brown sugar, butter, and milk. That's all I put in my oatmeal this time. You know, I didn't have butter and milk. Uh, or I didn't have milk last time I made oatmeal. So I put brown sugar and butter in there, but I also put like nutmeg and cinnamon and whatever uh, other things I put in there. Uh, yeah, so I get some good rest for tonight. I eat my oatmeal. I haven't eaten it yet. I just came upstairs. I'm going to eat my oatmeal. And I'm going to crash, go to sleep. Because I want to be rested fully for tomorrow. I will put on a little bit of makeup um, again. It just makes me feel more professional. So, that's all I've got today. I will see you tomorrow. And I'll let you know in the evening what they say. So, have yourself a good night. See you tomorrow. Toodles.